drafted onto SBA had I submitted it, and actually once the game had glitched out, I would probably have just reset and started over. But because we were doing it as a charity marathon, I vetoed the guy running it and decided to just see how far I could get with the game glitched out like that, and I actually wound up beating it. Honestly, when I did that, I expected the game to just eventually completely freeze and I would have to start over anyway, and it never actually happened. So. <laughs> no, uh, the NES was being very temperamental that day. It had actually frozen on us three times before, and that was actually our second attempt at playing that game. So, once you've picked your game and you've played it a lot, and you've tried and failed to get a speed run, and you've tried and failed again, and you've tried hundreds more times, and you've failed a hundred more times, and you're frustrated, and you've made dents in your wall from your controllers, eventually it will all come together and you will have a speed run. So, once you get that speed run, now what? Well, if you're just doing this for a charity marathon or to impress your friends, you're basically done, although you'll want to rerun it every now and again just to kind of keep yourself fresh on the game. But if you're looking for internet fame on your game, you've got one more step to go, and that is to upload your work and promote it. And there are various options for this. You can upload the run to YouTube. The main issue with YouTube is, besides the cesspool of comments that is YouTube, as I'm sure you all know, unless you were an early adopter, you're limited to 15 minutes per video, although this isn't such a huge deal if you're doing a segmented run, because you can just upload one video per segment. As mentioned before, SDA is another option. The URL for that is just speeddemosarchive.com, by the way. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. And as I mentioned, even if you don't plan to submit to them, they do have a casual speedrunning board where you can go and upload your raw neural link to it and get people to go see it. You may also consider, again, checking out boards dedicated to your game or series. <laughs> Even the Game Facts boards, which now have a not entirely undeserved reputation out on the internet, would be a good resource because at the very least there will be fans of your game on those boards, especially on some of the newer systems. With that, are there any questions? Okay. That picture you had a couple of slides back. Yes. What game was that from? That was from. That was a basically a Photoshop of Fantasy Star 2. The ah. original treasure chest has, I believe, a headgear in it, and I just took some of the letters and made a speed run. Yes. So with the turtles, it was just like something that um, you know, like say you knock the Nintendo. That was it was not a specific glitch at all. Right. It was not anything intentional on our end by any means. It was just the NES being temperamental. And you know how some of the old NESs are, where if you turn it on, it'll go on, but the visuals will be kind of glitched out. That's basically what happened here, except it had the fortune or misfortune to occur in the middle of the run. And I decided to just roll with it and see how far I could get before the game glitched out completely. And you were playing this on, like, the original NES? Yes. So, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Anyone else? What's the typical battle speed What's a typical Battletoad speedrun? The current run with warps is, I believe, about 19 and a half minutes. That's not necessarily typical, though. Put it this way, the run that I had up before it got obsoleted was about 24 minutes, a little over that. And through the use of both better gameplay and a glitch, which I didn't use, they got the run immediately after mine was, I believe, in the low 20 minutes. Is it, is it true that the Genesis version of that game is easier in some ways, or do you just... Or? I played a little bit of the Genesis version on emulator. I didn't think it was all that much easier. What actually is much easier, though, is the Japanese version of Battletoads. It is so much easier as to be a completely different game, in my opinion. What did they specifically do with them, I ask? Oh god, all sorts of things. To name just some examples, the auto-scrolling levels, like the Turbo Tunnel, and uh, Folkmeyer's Inferno, they scroll a lot slower. A lot of the nasty insta-death spikes that you wouldn't know are there the first time at level 9 when you're out running the gear, those have been taken out. Uh, the disappearing, reappearing platforms in level 12 are just solid platforms. It's a much, much easier game in Japan. 
Japan thinks that we can't have hard games. <laughs> it's a weird double standard. In that's the thing, is that a lot of times the American version of the game is harder than the Japanese version. Almost as much as the other way around now, I would say. Anyone else? Giving us Final Fantasy IV easy type and not giving us Final Fantasy V. <laughs> the Final Fantasy IV that we got as Final Fantasy II is actually kind of interesting in that it's a bizarre hybrid of the easy type and the hard type. If you actually go and try and play through the easy type, there are things that are actually even easier than Final Fantasy II in the US. To name just one example, the Ancient Sword, just before Kegnaza, in both hard type and the US version, is basically a lightning sword in the easy type. And wow, that's pretty useful against a water fiend, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> um, so when it comes to Speed Devil's Archive, you yes. don't accept tool-assisted runs or machine-assisted in any no. case? Yeah. No, they do not accept tool-assisted runs. They, they don't accept emulated runs at all, as a matter of fact. Uh, what are the other factors they use besides um, save state manipulation? They, they have used random number generators or something in those types of runs? Yes. That's one thing. Slow down and save states are the main ones. A lot of times, now it's gotten to the point that people will kind of disassemble the... Essentially disassemble the ROM and really find out what's going on step by step all the time. And that's why... I mean, they, they have a place just to see what is the, literally the fastest possible time, but most people kind of don't think much of that because it's more abuse than anything? It's not so much abuse. This is really kind of getting outside the scope of this presentation, quite honestly. Okay. But there are two different, I don't want to say factions, but there are two different camps. And though tool-assisted speedruns have speedrun in the title, they're really aimed at two different groups of people. Although that said, a lot of times, speedrunners, like what we're talking about here, they'll look to tool-assisted runs to see if there's anything that maybe they missed or that they can use to help save time. But they're really not and never were in direct competition with one another. They, uh, the communication early on in the tool-assisted community wasn't always there. There was actually a lot of friction for a while that I went into here. Um, oh, I have one more about Final Fantasy III. Um, okay. why, why did they have to... Um, do that six. Uh, do that situation with Joker's Doom more than once. How come they just didn't mimic it like they did at the end again? The for the second tier, it's because the second tier opened basically with Diffuser and killed Go Go. So gets to or she has to, I should say, resurrect Go Go and then do the whole rigmarole oh, with bringing yeah. him back down to low HP. Oh, and, that's right. Because he only he, what is it? He only mimics the last. Action right. if he's alive or something? He mimics the last action, yeah. He mimics the last action exactly, actually. Which is why if you look at the third tier in Kefka himself, he, she had to mimic it twice. Because the first time, it's actually attempting to Joker Doom the previous tier. And once that happens, somehow it resets and quote-unquote correctly mimics Joker Doom and kills the current tier. That's what the funny th thing about Final Fantasy III is in so many ways. There's so many, like, not just through abuse, but, like, you know what I mean. For glitch purposes, you know, like the Phoenix Cave and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. I don't, it's almost weird how that game got made and yet be so excellent. I mean, it seems to have way more glitches than almost any other Final Fantasy game there is. Oh, yeah. You know, I guess it's just maybe a little bit of everything. <laughs> all right, I'll uh, sum up really quick because I don't want to screw up the scheduling for the rest of the day. Thank you. Pick your goal, pick your game, pick your run type, then do your research and play your game. And your research, by the way, should not end when you start playing the game. The two are, they really go hand in hand. Playing the game is itself a form of research. And once you've got your run, it's time to upload it and promote it to everyone you know. And with that, go and speedrun your way into the internet's heart. Thank you. <laughs>